Hey guys, Capri's 2 and 2 here, and welcome back to another video. So, as you can see by the screen, this is nothing like what I usually do. Um, a few of you have been asking if I can do, like, tutorials or teach you how I draw my cats. So, we're gonna start out with a pretty simple one. Um, earlier today, I... Oh, you're not gonna open that? Okay. Well, let's start out with this. I usually start out with something that's 100 by 100. And I am using Adobe Photoshop Creative Cloud, which is basically, it's just Photoshop, but you pay $20 a month for the membership on Creative Cloud, and I think that gives you access to Illustrator, you know, all those things. So what I do is I start out with a blank background, and I'm going to get layer one. And then I usually go down to a specific brush that I found, and if I can or remember, I will give you the link to this. Um, what you're going to want to do is get some kind of pale color that's usually the best thing. Um, and then from there, you're going to want to draw the base of your creature. And yes, I am horrible at humans, so I will be not or not be doing humans. Um, we're just going to do a quick headshot. So um, why is this like so tiny? Ugh, don't like that. Okay, so I'm just going and it's okay. You could take a couple times and... Um, I am actually pressing Command Z, and that's on a Mac, but if you're on Windows or PC, it would be Control Z. So basically, you're just going to want to take a couple tries, and that's the best I'm going to get. And then you're going to want to position it to where you want it to be. And, oh, wrong button. And then I'm going to have it about here. There we go. Now, from there, you've just got a circle, so that's not going to be very easy to work off of. So what I'm going to do is, this is what I always do, I work with red, blue, and then if I need to, I will go to green. Um, you can obviously make it darker or brighter, but I try to stick with pastel colors just to make this easy. So what you're going to do is, I always start out with the ears, and they always look like bad ears. I don't like that. So I'm actually going to do it so this cat sort of got like ears sideways, and then you're just going to kind of want to do that for the hair um now like i said depending on whether you've got a male or female cat you would either do something like this hold on let me see if we can get it something like that for the females but i'm not doing a female today i'm just going to be doing the male cats because it's easier and the hair is much more i don't know like simplistic that's what the, that's the word i'm looking for so I'm just going to do that. Alright, now you've got the base of the cat, but what you're going to want to do now is the side of the face. So let's get that done. And, you know, just kind of do a couple strokes like that. And then same for the other side. Just do a couple strokes and the final, like, you know, big one. Alright, now for the neck. It's, it's really not that hard. Um, I'm just going to do a couple more. You just kind of tilt it inwards like that. And from about here on the neck, you're just going to do like a couple of these. And if you follow me on Twitter, you've probably seen that I've been doing a lot of like hand drawn of these. And I am getting a, hopefully getting a Wacom tablet soon. So, you know, I'm going to be looking forward to that and you should see some um, better looking things. Uh, I'm not sure exactly how it's going to turn out, but the chest part basically can be pretty hard. So I just try to do something like that. There you go. And like I said, this is just a rough sketch for the video. And now that I've pretty much got that done, um, I'm going to work on the eyes. And since it's a Tom, you're one going to want to do something like I don't know I'll just do a traditional Tom eye which is sort of like this and from there you're just going to make a triangle and then it's going to dent down like that and you're not going to do something like that or like that I don't even know why people will do that but I go from there and you're going just for the Tom's look. You always have this little piece draping off, and on a she cat, you would do something like this. But no, you're just gonna have that there. And then he's sort of like angry looking, so let's see if I can't give him an amused look. There we go. And then, just because I don't want to waste a lot of time, I'm going to get the lasso tool, which you press L, and from that, I'm going to hit edit copy. 
and then edit paste and it's obviously like up above here so you guys can't see it but make sure you click on this thing and it'll kind of give you like a firm outline and you're going to hit flip or, or sorry flip horizontal can't talk and make sure since you've got a third layer now you're going to hit this apply and then merge down and I do not want him to look that derpy so I'm just going to sort of do it like this uh, there we go there and I'll just do and that's that's actually sort of like the hair right there so I can't do an eye but um yeah you guys get the point there we go now you're going to make sure that, that is definitely thickened because they sort of have the eyes like that and there you go and make sure it goes all the way down here when you want the thickness like I said this is just a rough sketch and then you just sort of go about I don't know like say that far under and then you can draw the nose however you like and he's just going to have sort of an amused look all right, there we go. Um, I'm gonna cover the ear fur too, which is just sort of like this. And then you're gonna bring it down to about here. All right, we've got the sketching done. So I'm going to erase the red line and just get my black. For this, I use this brush. Oh, that's too large. And then I drag it down to about a nine. Now, from that, you know, this isn't the usual brush, but it's just a new one that I've gotten from another YouTuber um, called Finchwing. She's really good and I like her style a lot. And, um, this is not her style. This is actually, like, the style that River Spirit uses. And she is the artist that I was inspired by. So, thank you, River. Alright. Um, let's get back to this. And pretty much from here, you can just kind of, like, trace it however you like. And then, yeah. Hold on. There we go. Um, we're not going to color him in today just because, you know, that's not what we're going over in this lesson. I think it's a lesson even. I don't even know what this is. Mm, come on. There we go. Okay. And you can obviously have it overlapping and stuff like that, but it's, that's not how I do it. But like I said, it's personal choice, really. There we go. Oh my gosh, no, I can't draw. <laughs> There. Okay. Oops. My mouse decided to scroll like way up. Okay. Now that we've gotten that done. Um, it's the same for the ears, really. It's the same for everything. If you're going to be tracing something, you just want to do the black outline. And like I said, I don't care if it's wavy because today we're just trying it out. And there we go. Okay, now you've got the outline done, and, oops, that's an accident. I don't want, um, actually, see how there's layer 2 is the blue? Make sure you make another layer for the black. That's very important. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag the, the size down to about 5, but since there's like, it doesn't actually go to 5, you just have to press the number 5, and then it'll enter it. Alright, so I'm just going to do something like that. And there we go. There. I know the eyes aren't the same size, but as I said before, it's really just for show. Um, this isn't supposed to do anything. It's not like going somewhere besides my um, Divine Art page. So, yeah, there we go. I think I said that right. Divine. Deviant. Whatever. Well, I think it's Deviant. I'm not sure. I, I get them confused all the time. Um, anyways, alright, so there you go. That is pretty much it. And. Yes, that looks quite amusing if you ask me. So thank you so much for watching. Um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you want to see more. And I will see you later. Bye!